It's the history yeah. of the area. This was originally 500 acres of dairy. So I just wanted to keep that feel, you know, and I love it. Hi, I'm Chris Henry and welcome to Coronation Park, a stunning equine facility set up beautifully with the most amazing infrastructure right in the heart of the Hunter Valley. 20 minutes from Newcastle, 20 minutes from Maitland. We can't wait to show you around. A tightly held rural community bordered by the Williams River and the Pacific Highway, Eagleton, is a tranquil retreat close to urban conveniences. Coronation Park Stud, set amongst 50 acres of fertile grazing country with an elevated house site and first-class infrastructure. The property has been custom designed as a premier equine facility or just to enjoy for your own personal use. The improvements cater for a range of equine opportunities for horse owners, trainers, breeders or instructors, with the centrepiece being an impressive 20 metre by 60 metre undercover sand arena, ideal for hosting large clinics, school groups or private lessons. Standing here today, getting the chance to see what you've done here, but now moving on to a new chapter and a new journey in your life, we get the opportunity to uh, find one lucky owner for this beautiful property. Absolutely, Chris. There's not much, not much that they have to do. You know, it's just personalising things. Uh, I set this up as a breeding complex, and initially, I have a lot of American friends who are great clinicians, and the idea was to bring them out here, do schools, run clinics teach people the Western way uh, and it's very close to my heart yes. and as you know we've bred world champions and and that's really exciting national Australian champions some of the best horses in the country have come out of the Hunter Valley with me so uh, you know you get to a stage and I think you need a five to ten year journey when you get as old as I do I am and COVID stopped us there's seven beautiful yards down here for spelling and adjustment, you know, a great income, two beautiful foaling yards here, safe under lights, right outside the back door. Yep. You know, the alarm goes off, you go outside, you can sit in the lounge and watch the mares foal, making sure, of course, that the presentation's right. And I've put a lot into fencing. There wasn't a fence on the place because it was a rundown dairy and, um, Boy, you know, I look back now and see how far we've come. Uh, it's amazing to be in this position. So take us on a little bit of a journey of where you started and, um, and the project that you had in front of you. Chris, the first thing I did was to make the dam usable. It was a pothole. Yep. And um, I remember having a heart attack of what it was going to cost me to deepen and make it a worthwhile yes. dam that, you know, we can irrigate this beautiful arena from and not ever have to worry about running out of water. Because the rainfall here in this area is 43 inches a year. Yeah, that's you know, great. The pastures even through the drought held up wonderfully. And a dear friend of mine in Scone was suffering. She had beautiful cattle and uh, she cried on the phone and told me that there was no food and they were almost yep. out of water. So I said, oh hell, send them down here. And we run 40 head of cattle on 50 acres in the drought. Wow. And they went home fat. But because we're here in this section of the valley, we get every shower from the inland and certainly every shower from the coast. coast. And um, <laughs> the worst part about that is you're always on the track to slashing. <laughs> yes. I um, pasture improved, put in clovers, three types, uh, phalaris, rye. I planted the broodmare paddock the first year. And I put it under oats because I had no horses here and took a whopping 78 bales of hay off this paddock here. Yeah, wow. You know, that's amazing. That'd be like, I suppose, 15 or 16 acres. Yes. And uh, beautiful bales, absolutely wonderful hay. 
and sold it to the people that, at a reasonable price, because I'm a farmer, I understand it, to the people that were suffering the drought. Yes. Um, but again, it's because of that wonderful rainfall that we get here all the time. Yeah. Uh, the floodplains below us, when I first came here, uh, this place used to get underwater too. But I put in big pipes to take it away. Yes. And uh, very rarely do we get water across the paddocks unless you've had sort of 15 or 18 inches, which is yes. normal. Um, and then there's the high ground that we can move the stock to. Yes. And the creek takes away real quickly here now, which is really good. Now. When I first came out here with you and you picked up the phone and said, Chris, I think I've found the property. We looked for so long. Oh, Chris, right five property. months. I know. From Scone to Gosford. But once you said, I think I've found it, I knew that you'd seen something that you had a vision for. Uh, yes. Water was important. Proximity to town was important. Um, but something that you could get access to everything you needed to with airport, city, infrastructure, but also something that had the peace, serenity and outlook um, that you could come back here and feel like you're in the middle of nowhere. Absolutely. Horse safety and accessibility were key when designing all infrastructure and paddocks for easy stock movement, as well as six preferred American style stables, mare and foal crush, wash bay, tack and storage facilities, and falling down paddocks under lights in direct view from the farmhouse. The character filled farmhouse has been elegantly renovated from top to bottom. The makeover has been completed in a style to stay true to the origins of the farmhouse, which was built in 1906. Don't miss the chance to secure this one-of-a-kind Eagleton property. Contact the team at River and book your private inspection.